All right, so this is a video tutorial for the first part of the first assignment, basically to produce a, uh, a cartoon character. Uh, this can be anything you'd like, uh, just something in the vein of like you would see uh, on TV or in like a Pixar film or something like that, yeah, uh, or maybe like a Nintendo game. Um, so first thing we need to do is we have a, an empty scene here, so I just opened up uh, ZBrush and here we are. Uh, what I'm going to do is I just need to draw something to the canvas. So I'm going to go to Tool. I'm going to click on this. Uh, I think any one of these would work, but you got to click on the big one. And we're just going to make a oops, just going to make a Sphere 3D. Okay, so let's select Sphere 3D. Uh, I'm going to click and draw it, and I'm going to hold Shift. You'll see because what'll happen is, see how it'll spin pretty freely. I don't know if you can see that, but if I hold Shift, it snaps. Well, it's stuck, stuck to it now, but you don't actually have to hold Shift. I'm just going to hold Shift. Okay. But that doesn't actually draw onto the canvas. I actually have to hit Edit or T. Okay. Now you'll see that it's 3D. I can rotate it, which is good. Um, one of the things I want to do. Uh, oops, I'm at the Alt. Um, there we go. Make back this thing up a little bit. Okay. Uh, one of the things I want to do is to adjust the resolution of this because right now, if I were to convert this to Dynamesh. You're gonna see that it's actually gonna it's actually gonna pick up on the um, the faceting. See, I can see the faces here. Uh, so I'd rather not do that. So I'm gonna go to the initialize here, uh, and you see H divide and S divide. So I'm just gonna double these. So was at 128. So uh, let's do uh, 264. I don't know. Um, and 65. Let's do 120. All right, and you'll see it just kind of doubled the resolution a little bit. Hope that one didn't happen. 256. That's what it should have been on the Y. Enter. Okay. So it just makes a little bit high re more high res resolution. doesn't matter that much. Um, another thing I want to do is I'm going to go to my transform because right now if I were to sculpt on this. Oh, okay. Let's do this too. Uh, notice how it said blah, blah, blah. we got to go up here and make it polymesh 3D. Okay. That'll make it sculptable. So now I can draw on it. But you'll notice that. When I draw on one side, it's not drawing on the other side. Generally speaking, most characters are symmetrical. So I just want to make sure this is symmetrical uh, when I'm sculpting. So I'm going to go to Transform. I'm going to go Activate Symmetry. And we're going to go ahead and make sure it's on X. Uh, typically, we like Z, uh, positive Z to be the front, like where your face would be. Um, and then X would be on the, you know, your right side and left side. So we're going to do X and the rest of this is fine. So now you'll see, you can actually see the thing on the on the side there and we can see it on both sides. So now it's symmetrical. Yay. All right. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, adjust some of this other stuff here. So I like to have perspective on. It's not so obvious right now, but basically uh, if you don't have that on, it makes it uh, flat uh, and we want it not to have that. I'm also going to go ahead and turn the floor on, uh, just so I can see where the floor is. You don't have to have that on. You may find that useful or not. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is this. Right now, I can rotate on all axes. Um, I want to rotate on the Y axis. The reason being is that it'll help keep it straight up and down. Um, so if I do this, you can see I can get it. See, how I can make it like roll, and it just... This is supposed to be better, but honestly, I find it difficult. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to hold shift as I rotate to a view, and I'll snap that view. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this uh, rotate Y. Okay? So yay. Um, that's good. That's good. The next thing to do is to adjust the geometry here. Okay? So I want to I want to change this right now, because as I sculpt, you will see that there's not going to be enough geometry to support... Uh, shift F for wireframe, or you can click on this, or polyframe, whatever. But um, there's not going to be enough geometry to support it, right? So what I want to do is I want to basically uh, use DynaMesh. So I'm going to go down here, and there's a bunch of different options. Uh, ways of making meshes, ways of dealing with meshes, uh, ways of converting meshes. I want to go to the DynaMesh, and we're just going to go ahead. Now, if I do 128, I feel like that's kind of high. Um, I'll just do it, and you'll see. Um, it's not too bad, actually, but I'm going to undo that. I'd rather do, let's say, uh, 64. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think 64 is a little bit better. Um, you want to keep it as low poly as possible because the higher poly it is, the harder it's going to be to smooth out details. So you want to keep it low. It makes it run faster and things like that as well.
All right, so I'm gonna hit Shift F again to get rid of the wireframe. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily all that benefit, beneficial. Okay, so we got basically a ball that now we can sculpt on, okay? Uh, so you should have a design that you keep to the side, that like a drawing that you wanna use that might be helpful or whatever, uh, that you can use as a guide, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna do like a, like a generic little boy just because that, you know most little cartoon characters look like little kids so i'm just gonna do kind of a little kid something that maybe looks like my son or maybe i'll do one that looks like my daughter i don't know but um that way it'll be hopefully it'll work with what you have instead of doing something like super you know interesting or super novel it's better for me to do a generic you should try and push your design um but uh for my case i'm gonna keep mine generic um, like all things, you want to work broad and specific. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build sort of the torso-ish area first. Um, now, uh, if you need to know where is the front and the back, if you look underneath, if you have um, the uh, floor on, you'll see this little blue line and a red line. The blue line means uh, positive Z. The red line means um, positive X. So anything over here is positive X, and everything over here is negative X. Everything over here is positive Z. Everything over here is negative Z. And then Y is obviously this direction but uh, right now if you look the floor is on Y I can change it so I have other ones as well with these little dots here but I'm just gonna keep it on that so what I'm gonna do is you can see Z is actually that way so I'm gonna rotate this guy around so that I'm facing him correctly all right and all right so now we're gonna do it so uh, I'm just gonna hold spacebar click and drag my brush size my focal shift pull that out a little bit all right and I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, I'm on sculpt still. So I want to use the brush here, so I'm click, and there's a bunch of different brushes. Uh, for the most part, we're only going to need the two. We're going to need standard brush, and we're going to need the move brush, okay? So uh, it's alphabetical, which in this case is actually useful. So you'll see here's move. Click on move. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull, let's make this a little bit bigger. Pull this up, okay? And then we'll kind of pull this out and I'm gonna turn to the side and go like that and this bottom's a bit robust if you will so I'm just gonna kind of pull these in all right all right we're just trying to generically make a character he doesn't really have much of a um, an S curve see how he's kind of straight up and down so I'm gonna kind of this bigger uh, so if you find that your brush is not big enough oh wait is this proportionately oh they changed that okay well never mind then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull this back like this just so he's got a little bit of a spine a little bit of a curve all right that looks okay now um if I hit the wireframe we'll see how it's getting kind of stretched now watch in order to refresh my dynamesh I'm gonna hold control click and drag Control, click, and drag without it being over. If you do it over it, you're just going to be um, uh, masking it. Okay? Uh, and if you do like this and go over it, you're going to mask that section. So you want to make sure you don't have any part of it. But you see now it re um, it re dynameshed it. All right? Okay. So the next thing to do is to... Uh, and I would do a little bit better of a job, but I just want to bang this out for you, uh, is to draw the arms and legs. So to do that, I'm um, going to go up here, click on this, and we're going to go ahead and use standard brush. And I'll bring this thing back. And I will do the legs first. So we're just going to work on one because it's just the same thing for both. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to draw a little bit of a nublet, okay, where the legs should come out. Make sure you leave a gap for... Um, the the crotch area i'm not really super happy with that let's go out a little bit farther all right like so uh, all right like that all right that's that's the thing that happened all right and i'm just going to control click and drag to re dynamesh it because if i don't do that you see it's already stretched and what i'm going to do now and i'll i'll undo that uh, i'm going to switch back to the move tool instead of clicking on this if you hit b that's the hotkey for brush and then you would hit the next letter. If you look over these, um, oh, they're not really showing it. I thought they would. If I hit M, it's going to show me all of the ones that are in the M category, which would be move or mass square, all these different ones that start with M. And then if you look, move is V, okay? And then I'll hit V. So B, M, V to quickly get to move. Um, 
or you could just manually grab it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab move here, and that didn't really work super great. Just don't want to grab too much. Okay, good. Now, I can't keep pulling it. See what I'm saying? Because it's just not enough geometry. So I'm going to hold control, click and drag. And if you look, now there is. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of pull this down some more. And we'll pull this down. And I'm just going to hold shift and just soften that a little bit because it was getting a little pinchy. All right. Like so. I'm just trying to get some, you know, length there. Uh, let's make this a little bit wider. Pull that in a little. Like so. And control click and drag. All right, um, he needs some feet, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Now, to get the standard brush is B, S, because it's standard, and then T. Okay, and I'm just going to pull, oops, not focal shift. Leave you around in the middle here. Take the draw size down, and I'm just going to kind of draw where the front of the foot should go. Okay, like so. I'm going to hold shift for smooth, and I'll hide a little bit more of a teal, uh, a heel here. I'm going to hold shift again for smooth to kind of flatten that out. Um... Let's see. This obviously looks a little bit doughy and not that great. It's going to take a bit of massaging, but I want to spend a lot of the time doing that because um, you won't get as much from that. All right. Uh, and you can see again, um, it's like whatever, but if I hold control, click and drag, there it goes. Redynameshes it and redraws uh, a, a sort of thing. Now, it doesn't obviously follow the topology, uh, but it does uh, give enough geometry to su support it. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the arms here. Uh, so I still have the standard brush, so I'm going to draw myself a nublet where I think the arm would go. All right. Something like that-ish. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and model this character in T-Pose. All right. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and then I'm going to go BMV. All right. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Okay. So one of the problems I might have, and I didn't do it down there, but we'll do it here just so that you get, well, it's not too bad, but let's say I was doing this and I want to grab this whole nublet, but I can't because it starts to grab the body. I can go ahead and mask out the body. So it's not so much an issue. So I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to go like this, paint around like that. All right. And we'll just kind of yada, yada, yada. Oops. Oh, whatever. I keep start clicking on okay going around Woo. okay so we get something like that it just needs to be enough that nothing's gonna get in its way okay animal control clicking ah actually gotta leave that on sorry i should have dynameshed it first because oh well um okay so i got the move i'm gonna make this bigger again and i'm just gonna pull we can make it really big now because it's not gonna affect those other parts i'm gonna pull this out to make the arm all right but you see it will not affect this inside part. All right. Then hold control, click and drag. That'll clear the mask. Didn't do the dynamesh yet. Then control, click and drag, and then it will do the dynamesh. All right. Okay. Uh, so next, what I'm going to do is, oops, I'll hit spacebar. Okay. And uh, it's on the move tool yet. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of massage some of this shape here. I'm going to hold shift to kind of smooth this out. All right. So on and so forth. Um, and we would make a hand, but I'm going to wait on that. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a head here. So B, S, T. Again, I'm going to draw myself a little bit of a nublet. Okay. I'm going to hold shift because that's a little bit weird looking. All right. I would make sure, I'm kind of quickly going through this, but each step I would spend more time trying to make it look more like what you want because this is just looking kind of weird um say it's something like that okay and smooth that okay control click and drag it re uh does whatever you can see because it was faceted faceted it's it's actually kind of capturing that as well oops so i'm just going to hold shift and smooth all that all right notice also i use shift because it'll it'll um lose volume uh, so it's a good way of kind of pushing into the surface without, like, you know, pushing down a lot on the surface. All right. So at this point, I got basically uh, a kind of base shape. It's a pudgy potato man. Um, but you get the basic uh, uh, concept of how to start. Uh, in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and um, just kind of flesh it out a little bit more, like add fingers and, um, 
you know, more of like a, a face kind of shape. Okay.